In this video, we will explore the exact pressures required by the R404A refrigerant in its most common applications. Additionally, we will quickly analyze its thermodynamic behavior. R404A is a widely used refrigerant in freezing and refrigeration systems. Although R404A is a high-efficiency gas, its main drawback is its high global warming potential, which has led to strict environmental regulations. Next, we will observe its behavior at different evaporation temperatures. 1. Let's start by selecting an evaporation or cooling temperature of minus 20 degrees Celsius in the simulator. This value is typical for equipment, where the evaporator is dedicated to freezing, such as for meats. 2. For a more precise calculation, we will set the superheat adjustment to 3 degrees Celsius at the evaporator outlet. Remember that superheat is the temperature increase of the refrigerant gas inside the evaporator. The superheat value varies depending on the thermal load of the system. For example, in a freezer with a large quantity of food, the superheat can exceed 3 degrees Celsius, whereas with a lower thermal load, the superheat will be below 3 degrees Celsius, even reaching 0 degrees Celsius when the cooling load is very low. 3. To calculate the condensation temperature within the refrigeration system, we will add 10 degrees Celsius to the ambient temperature surrounding the equipment. For example, if the ambient temperature is 30 degrees Celsius, the condensation temperature will be 40 degrees Celsius. By the way, the video description contains the link to access this simulator. 4. Now, Let's select a subcooling of 2 degrees Celsius. Subcooling is the decrease in refrigerant temperature when it is in liquid phase at the condenser outlet, improving system efficiency. For example, if the outer surface of the condenser is clean and has an adequate airflow, slightly higher subcooling values can be achieved. However, it is important to note that in warm climates or under more challenging heat exchange conditions, such as low fan speed or external dirt on the condenser coil. Subcooling may be below 2 degrees Celsius, even reaching 0 degrees Celsius. 5. The pressure indicated by the system's pressure gauge depends on the altitude above sea level. In this section of the simulator, we can select the altitude at which the equipment is located. This allows for a more accurate pressure gauge reading, which is crucial for high-precision refrigeration systems. 6. For example, at sea level, the pressure values for a temperature of minus 20 degrees Celsius are as follows. 7. However, in another location, the pressure reading on the gauge will be different. At 1,000 meters above sea level, the low and high pressures adjust to the values displayed on the screen. 8. For instance, at 2,000 meters above sea level, the low and high pressures change according to the values shown in the diagram. 9. Let's check the pressure value when an evaporator temperature of minus 10 degrees Celsius is needed which is typical for refrigeration equipment. The low and high pressure values are displayed in the diagram. 10. For an evaporator temperature of minus 5 degrees Celsius, the low and high pressure values are shown in the diagram. On screen, we can see the refrigeration cycle graph in the enthalpy pressure diagram of our 404A, known as the Mollier diagram. Remember that in the description of this video, you will find the link to use this simulator for free.